Hello viewers, this is the video lecture for the subject theory of computation and we are going to see the topic context free grammar from the third unit. Objectives are to understand the concepts of CFG context free grammar, to describe how to derive a string from a grammar and to identify a language for a given grammar. First of all, let us see the definition for context free grammar. Context-free grammar is shortly called as CFG. It is the formal grammar which is used to generate all possible patterns of a string for a given formal language. A context-free grammar will be defined with the help of four tuples like G equal to P, T, P, S. So G will be represented for the grammar which consists of set of production rules. It is used to generate the string for a language. Then capital letter T is a set of terminal symbols. So in the production rules of the grammar, terminal symbols will be represented with the help of lowercase letters. And V is used to represent the non-terminal symbols. Non-terminal symbols will be represented as capital letters in the production rules. And P is for the set of production rules. The production rules will have a left hand side and the right hand side. And we, we will be used, we will use the production rules for replacing the normal, the non-terminal symbols on the right hand side of the production in a string with other terminal or non-terminal symbols on the right hand side of the production. And S will be the starting state, the starting symbol, which is used to start the derivation for a string. We will do the derivation by repeatedly replacing a non-terminal by the right hand side of the production until all the non-terminal have been replaced by the terminal symbols. Now we are going to see one grammar example. A tends to 0 A1, A tends to B, B tends to hash. This is the production rule for one grammar. Here, in this grammar, we are having three number of production rules. And the non-terminals are, here the non-terminals are capital letter A and B. We are having two non-terminals. Non-terminals are otherwise called as variables. And the starting non-terminal or starting symbol is capital letter A. And the terminal symbols are, we are having three terminal symbols, 0, 1 and hash. So, the special characters can also be considered along with the terminal symbols. It is also used for the derivation. Now we are going to see <coughs> some problems. That is, we will be given with the grammar and we have to identify the language for the grammar. That is L of G. Language is nothing but it is the common format for the string that can be produced by the given grammar. So, in our grammar, we can see we will be given with the production rules like S tends to 0, S1, S tends to lambda and there will be two terminal symbols 0 and 1 and the starting non-terminal is capital letter S. So, we have to analyze the common format of the string that can be produced by the grammar. So, let us take the first production rule S tends to 0, S1. So we can make the substitutions. So when we apply again when we substitute 0 s1 for s it will becomes 0 0 s11. It can be written as 0 square s1 square. Again if we substitute the right hand side of the production rule for s in the place of s like s tends to 0 s1 in the place of s we will be, we will get 0 0 0 s111. So, for any number of times, we can do the substitutions like this. From that, we know the common format of our string is, the common format will be 0 power n, s 1 power n. Then finally, when we substitute s tends to lambda or when we substitute lambda to s, we will get lambda will be lambda get cancelled. So, we will get the format 0 power n, 1 power n. So, this is our language. So, this is the language for our given 
grammar now we are going to see another one important problem for the context free grammar that is we will be given with the grammar and uh, and we have to check a string whether the string is comes under this language that means we have to check whether the string can be derived from the given grammar so simply we have to perform the derivations we have to start from the starting non terminal in the right hand side for the non terminal symbols we have to perform the derivations we will try to produce the given string and if you are able to produce the given string we can tell the given string is acceptable by the given grammar or uh, the given string having the uh, belongs to our belongs to the language of our grammar so when we perform the derivations normally we will start with the starting simple then based upon the sequence of input symbols coming in the string we will apply the appropriate productions from our set of productions for example in the first step our right hand side will be a a1 a2 a in the next step we will apply we are applying <coughs> a a1 a a we will substitute the right hand side of the production rule for the left hand side a a1 so the substitution will be b a a then after that for a2 we are performing the substitution as a1 a b then again for a1 we are substituting b a a1 a2 b similarly we have to perform the substitution and finally if we are able to produce the string means we can tell the conclusion that is the particular string belongs to the language of the grammar this is also same kind of problem we have to perform the derivations we have to apply the appropriate substitutions and we will try to produce the string this is also the same kind of problem uh, our grammar having three productions sorry four productions s tends to a a b a tends to b b b and another one one more production is con uh, added in that that is a tends to epsilon so wherever applicable epsilon can be substituted for a and in the next step epsilon get cancelled epsilon means null so in the necessary places we can ap apply the null uh, production rules and uh, in the next step it will be cancelled so this is also another one string we are checking for the acceptability now we are going to see some another kind of problems so in this problems the pro in the problem we will be given with the language from the language we have to identify the grammar okay so first of all the language is 0 power n 1 power n the condition for n is n should be equal to 1 so uh, we have to identify the grammar so as to produce the string in the format of 0 power n 1 power n so the grammar will be s tends to a b a tends to 0 b tends to 1 we know our terminal symbols are 0 and 1 so when we whenever we do the derivation we will be started with the starting terminal starting non terminal that is yes s tends to a b so we can substitute 0 for a and 1 for b and again we can substitute 0 for a and 1 for b so this is the appropriate grammar for the given language now this is another example there is the cfg represent the set of palindrome over 0 plus 1 star so this is the condition for our language so based on the condition 0 plus 1 star we have to construct our language language means it is the collection of string so our possible strings may be 0 or 1 0 plus 1 means 0 or 1 or any number of we can have any number of zeros or ones in our string so we have to write down the strings and we have to identify the production rules so uh, and we have we should remember our string may have any number of zeros and ones so we can have the production rule s tends to 0 s 0 s tends to 1s and s may have the uh, terminal 
you have to reach the terminal symbol 0 or 1 and finally s should also have the terminal symbol epsilon so this is the production rule for the given language <coughs> so these are all the concepts coming under the context free grammar now we can see the possible university questions explain the concepts of context free grammar derive a string for a grammar that is to check for the string acceptability for a given grammar then derive a language for a given grammar that's all thank you